The Liberal Party of Ghana, LPG, joined Ghana's politics in the run-up to the 2012 elections, but has since been unable to partake in any general elections. However, the LPG is confident of contesting for this year's election, hence the launch of the 2020 manifesto. The manifesto, which is themed a better tomorrow, placed premium on the employment, health, education, agriculture, sports and creative arts sectors. The flag bearer, Kofi Akpalu, at the launch made a bold announcement to end poverty when given the nod. He hopes to create 10 billion job fund to support businesses. This, he says, will be used to help entrepreneurs access financial help to cushion their startups. We are setting up a $10 billion job fund. And this job fund is going to help our young men and women who want to go into business, coming up from universities and polytechnics, to have capital to start their own businesses. We are also going to regularize Galamse and small-scale mining. Those who have never worked before, we will pay them what we call income support. And those are going to receive 400 cities every month. If you have never worked before, you should expect that you're going to get 4,800 Ghana cities per annum. According to the LPG manifesto, the importation of rice will be a thing of the past if voted into power. The LPG says it will equip rice farmers in the country to meet the demand. We, we have to help our farmers in the first place. So what we're going to do is we're going to support them with funding to enable them to grow more rice in large quantity uh, so that it can, be there. it can also become cheaper to produce locally than uh, elsewhere. So it will make those imported ones unattractive, okay? So when you support our local businesses to grow more rice for our consumption, it will, at a cheaper cost, then it will reduce the interest of buying from us and also setting up factories. That's why I said one year, after one year, so they can set factories to do perfume rice. Because Ghanaians are a fan of perfume rice. Uh -huh. So we have to uh, put all those things in places. And when you do that, there won't be any uh, the, uh, that, uh, attraction to uh, uh, source rice from outside. Running mate of Kofi Akpalu, Margaret O'Brien Safo, says as a woman, she will lobby for women empowerment. If women are the larger percentage of voters in this country, why can't they be part of the decision making? Why do we allow the men to decide for us when we decide who becomes a president? Why can't we also give ourselves up or work our way to uh, the position that we can also be uh, partakers of the decisions of the country. Flag bearer for the Liberal Party of Ghana, Kofi Akpalu is confident of attracting Ghanaians to vote the LPG on December 7. For City News, Kweku Ediyama Ansa.